Good evening. I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. Tonight's Tuesday night. Um, my Facebook Live is about downsizing, decluttering, and lifestyle design. So tonight I want to talk about my five-step method to declutter and organize your home. So just like anything else, some people are just naturally good at some things and totally clueless in others. For instance, my boys have always teased me about telling people that our mom can see through walls, meaning that it's very easy for me to walk into a room as a designer and visualize many ideas um, of, of that finished space. That's a gift that I've been given. It's a talent um, that I, I get to use every day. So, but conversely, please don't ask me to troubleshoot what's wrong with your computer because that's definitely not my skill set, And also it's not easy for me. It's not to say I can't do it, um, but it's definitely not easy. So similarly, decluttering and organizing is second nature to some people, while it's overwhelming, it's frustrating, and it's challenging to others. And that's why there are so many people, um, perhaps you're one of them, who seeks guidance to help with decluttering and getting organized in their homes. Um, they need a roadmap a step-by-step -step guide of some kind that they can follow so they can learn how to let go of the excess stuff in their homes and then also learn how to organize it in a logical way so that um, they know exactly where things are, um, where, where they put them, so they can get them when they want them and need them. So here's a short quiz that if it, it's more just to kind of get you started. So if number one is if you needed a Phillips screwdriver right now to fix something that's broken, would you be able to um, find know exactly where it is? Number two is if you were packing, suppose your your spouse surprised you with a trip and said, you know, get get packing. We're going on on a weekend trip. So if you were packing for that weekend trip or vacation to a warm climate. Would you be able to find your summer clothes that um, <clears throat> that you could pack within a couple of hours? Number three is if you had um, unexpected dinner guests, would you be able to find things in your pantry and your refrigerator to create a nice dinner? And number four is <clears throat> if you were um, if your accountant called you and asked for a specific document he needed to complete your taxes this year. Um, would you be able to put your hands on it? And the last question is, if you were um, to get into an accident and suddenly pass away, um, would your children and heirs be able to locate and access your important paperwork, your passwords, um, your files um, on your computer and on your phone? Um, so you can see that some of these questions have more serious um, consequences um, than others. But the reason that I mention them is to raise the awareness of the importance of decluttering and organizing so that you can easily locate whatever it is that you need when you want it or need it. And it also helps you save time, money, effort, and a lot of aggravation. And when you have a clutter-free home, um, one that's organized, you'll be able to live a simpler, um, calmer, and more peaceful life. It just adds to the general quality of your of your life. So <clears throat> tonight's video is about my five-step guide to decluttering and organizing your home. Um, it, remember, this is just an overview. I'll get into much more detail probably in some of my blogs. But uh, this five-step um, guide to decluttering and organizing your home is a simple tool um, that'll show you how to um, strategically, efficiently, and effectively declutter and organize any or all areas of your home, even if you're extremely clutter challenged. So the five-step guide. So one thing to know is remember it is possible that not all areas of your home need decluttering and organizing. So walk through your home before you even get started and prioritize areas that need um, the most attention. And it could be your mudroom, your laundry room, your bathroom, you know, even your dresser drawers. 
um, but prioritize those areas, then pick the top five that will have um, the biggest impact um, on your life if they're decluttered and organized. Then schedule a time to work on that area and commit to completing it um, before you move on to the next area um, so that you actually get to experience the positive impact of um, decluttering that area and organizing it. So at that scheduled time and date, um, go ahead and get started. So step number one is remove everything from that area and let's just say a closet. Decide first what you want to keep. Um, you like it, you need it, you will use it. Um, and put that into a keep pile. Now also keep in mind as you're doing this, there's just so much space in that closet. So <laughs> decluttering means to you know remove and get rid of. So make sure that you are not just going to um, organize and put everything back, you actually want to declutter. So you're gonna remove everything from that closet. You're gonna decide first what you wanna keep, um, things that you'll need, things that you like, and things that fit you, and put those into a keep pile. Then you're going to sort that keep pile into categories. So it could be the shirts, the dresses, the pants, whatever, and then return just those keep items that have already been decluttered um, return this to the closet, organizing them by the categories of the shirts, the pants, the dresses, so that you'll be able to find them when you want them and when you need them. So step number two is decide what you want to discard. So immediately place those items into um, trash and actually remove them from your home. Um, get them out to the street or get them into the garage um, for the pickup. Step number three is next is to decide um, what you want to sell or repurpose. Place those in that seller repurpose um, bag or box and stage them in one area of that room and commit to selling them um, or repurposing them within 30 days or just donate it and get rid of it. Step number four is decide on what you want to donate. So place um, the donate items in that bag or box and immediately put that box um, and bag into your car and commit to yourself that you're going to actually drop it off um, sometime that week or even that same day. Um, or you, if you um, are so inclined, you can schedule a pickup. And step number five is after you've completed that first area, move on to that next area that you've already prioritized and then just repeat the same steps. So if you follow, um, or if you allow 15 to 30 minutes per day, I think that's something we can usually squeeze in. Using this method, you'll be amazed at the progress um, that you can make to declutter and get organized. Now, if you have more time, and let's just say that it's your master bedroom closet, put aside a couple of hours um, on a, <laughs> I don't know, rainy day, a snowy day, whatever it is, and um, try to commit to getting that done. So it does take time um, and it does take discipline to complete these tasks, but because um, they're broken down into smaller, more manageable chunks of time, and because you'll be able to see the clear um, results um, from your efforts, then you'll be motivated to keep that momentum going. So I hope this helps. Um, this will be placed on um, the YouTube, um, my YouTube channel, Rita Wilkins, and it will also be on our website at Design Services Ltd.